Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here back with another video. This is my review of the OnePlus 2, which has been out now just over two months actually, and you still need an invite to grab one of these devices, so I thought I would post my review, my thoughts of my time with this awesome flagship of a smartphone that doesn't cost too much money. Let's get right into the details. So just to get pricing out of the way, the OnePlus 2 retails for $330 for a 16 gig model or $390 for a 64 gig model, and I'm pretty sure most people will pick this option. That's pretty crazy to think about since the iPhone 6S for a 64 gig model will run you close to a thousand bucks depending on where you live, or a Samsung Galaxy S6 will also cost you around $800 fully unlocked. Spec-wise, the OnePlus 2 is no slouch either. It still has a 5.5 inch display, it is 1080p, but it has awesome viewing angles and is extremely clear. On the bottom, we do have three capacitive buttons, one home button, one button for multitasking, and the button on the opposite side is for back. These can be switched and modified, and our home button also serves as a fingerprint sensor, which is also really good, and it is super quick. I'm going to put this on par with the likes of the iPhone 6 and 6S, which is definitely a great comparison to make. On the left hand side we've got a pretty cool toggle which is known as the alert slider and you can change between sound profiles, so no interruption, priority, or all notifications in general, and that as I said is found on the left hand side. On the right hand side we have the standard volume rockers as well as on and off button slash sleep button. On the top we have the 3.5mm headphone jack as well as some antenna banding. And on the bottom we have the speaker grills as well as the USB-C charging port. OnePlus has also decided to include a pretty sweet USB-C cable inside of the box so you don't need to grab an extra one. It doesn't charge any faster as a traditional micro USB port, but I like the way they're going in terms of innovation. USB-C is definitely the way of the future. On the back, if you've never held a OnePlus 2 or even a OnePlus 1 for that matter, this sandstone black color, the best way to describe it is a piece of sandpaper. It's got a lot of texture to it, and I think it will collect a lot of dead skin as time goes on, but you can always swap out the removable backs for different types of materials. They've got titanium, carbon fiber, wood, bamboo. I'll leave a link down below in the description to check it out. But as I said, the back is removable, which is pretty cool for this day and age as we don't see that too much in flagships. Although it is a removable back, we still can't swap out the battery and all you can do is access the dual SIM card slot tray, nano SIMs, and I'm sure this is really useful if you're traveling and you're on the go. Overall, the build quality is great for a phone this cheap. Naturally, it doesn't compare with the likes of the iPhone 6 or 6S, which is made completely out of aluminum, but the OnePlus 2 does have a nice feel to it and a nice aluminum band that does wrap around the outside. On the back, we have another piece of hardware, of course, the 13 megapixel camera. It's capable of 4K video recording at 30 FPS. Here are a few sample shots, and overall, I was pretty impressed. It had quick autofocus, great color saturation, but when you compare it to the likes of the new 6S camera, I think this is where the OnePlus 2 falls a tad bit short. But once again, comparing price differences, I think this is a great camera for what you're getting. Internals wise, as I said, it is no slouch. It's got very decent specs for once again its price. It's got the Snapdragon 810 chip, an octa-core processor, Adreno 430 GPU, four gigs of RAM, and a solid 3300 milliamp hour battery, which should last you all day. In the time that I've used it, I've only had it die on me two or three times before the day has run out. Out of the box, it does have Android Lollipop 5.1.1 with Oxygen OS 2.1, and that is OnePlus's custom skin over top. It is very, very similar to stock Android, so I'm a huge fan of it. And day-to-day -day use, I was extremely impressed with the OnePlus 2's performance. It was pretty much on the same level as most Android flagships, so that's a true testament for this being quote-unquote a flagship killer. When I played games, simple games like Crossy Roads, it handled without any sort of issue. Loading times perhaps a tad bit longer compared to the likes of a GS6 or an iPhone 6 slash 6S, but that of course is to be expected, and you wouldn't really be able to tell the difference between both of the devices unless you have them side by side. 
When I was switching between apps, multitasking, say going through a lot of social media, there were instances, for example, in Twitter where there was a slight bit of lag in between the apps, but once again, nothing too noticeable. There have been a couple times when apps have unexpectedly closed, but it's nothing too unbearable. And since it is from OnePlus, you do get updates live over the air, and they've been really good with pushing out updates. Even playing more graphic intensive games, the OnePlus 2 handled them without any sort of issue. And if you're looking to grab a OnePlus 2, I think the biggest thing that might be deterring you is still the invite system. It's kind of hard to get a hold of a code unless you happen to know someone or you do snag one on some sort of online contest. So stay posted to my social media. I will leave all my links down below in the description box. I'll try to hook you guys up with a bunch of codes so you guys can buy your own fancy OnePlus 2s. That was my full review of the OnePlus 2, an extremely capable smartphone for a lot less. And if you happen to have any extra invite codes, share it with me over on social media so I can hook everyone else up with a sweet flagship killer. There are definitely some trade-offs to grabbing a OnePlus 2, but I think the biggest benefit, of course, is saving your hard-earned money. If you guys like this video, be sure to go crazy over on that like button and subscribe to the channel, and I will, of course, catch everyone else in my next episode. Peace!